Hello, this is Peter with another video. Today I'm on a tour in a uh, banana plantation in Tenerife. Um, so as you can see, there's it's a massive um, banana plantation that we're on at the moment. I'm not sure how much of it I'm allowed to walk on, but just have a wander around. See these ones here are not quite ready yet. Now I believe there's also some other fruit trees here, like some mangoes, avocados and papayas. So I'll have a look for them as well on the way. I don't realise how big these bananas can actually get. See how thick they are at the bottom. It's not bigger than some of them others we passed by. It might be a different variety, actually. Mm. It, I know they do have a couple of different varieties here. You can see they keep, they only keep a few pups um, per clump. So you've got the, the fruiting one, or the one that's about to fruit. And then you've got the, the pup that will replace it. So they were saying the, um, they grow them in these greenhouses, but they're not actually, it's not actually plastic it's more of a, a netting and I believe according to the uh, plaque behind me it's saying the um, it's to protect them from the wind and reduce water consumption it's quite dry here in Tenerife and this part of the island so to protect the, the plants they use um, they use this netting um, and grow all the bananas in these huge greenhouses covered in netting now I've just spotted here what looks like an avocado. Avocado tree. Can't see any actual fruit on it though. Oh hang on. Yep, there is a little We do have mangoes, papaya and looks like there's a little avocado up there. Yeah, there's a few avocados here. As you can just about see. Yes, there's a few avocado trees here. Don't know what variety they are. This one's flowering, as you can see. Um, there's a few more over there, the one I just showed you. Just about to see some. We've got a huge papaya tree here, multi stemmed. Looks like it's been here for quite a while. the papayas, closer look at the papayas. So yeah, this one's looks like one of the biggest avocados they've got here. There's various stages of ripeness on these bananas. These ones are obviously quite um, newly opened. They keep the terminal bud on until it gets to the point where they don't produce bananas anymore. And then that's when they'll chop the, uh, the male uh, flowers off at the bottom, which won't produce any bananas. Um, and this one here is only just starting to open as you can see. So here's the mango tree. There's quite a few fruits developing on it. It's quite a big tree actually. We're just gonna have a sampling of some banana products in a minute I think. Some sort of citrus tree here sure what it is, there's no label. There's one shrivel looking fruit here on this dead portion of the tree. Might be some kind of lemon. Mm. 
spines on it. See the mango tree from here as well. Huge spider webs on it as well. These are the bananas, or some of them boxed, ready to be shipped, I guess. So they give us a banana, and uh, we're going to do some tasting now, I believe, for some banana products. The, uh, yeah, quite nice bananas, these. So, my name is Cynthia. Cristina and Isabel is over there. So, let's ask Así, ¿Productos canarios? ¿Conocen alguno? Sí, de gastronomía. Vegetable, fish, or meat soup. It looks like this. This is escaldón. This is the soup with coffee. It's a dried banana and this is gofio or made from gofio. Mm. Kind of, that's interesting, it's kind of like a kind of like a bread but not quite. So this is a Banana sweet. Mm. It's kind of like like a jelly type stuff, it's like a banana jelly. So we have two different types of. I think it's a kind of jam, banana and mango flavored. Give these a taste. Just had the banana one. It's it's really good actually. Kind of like a very mashed banana type flavour, but yeah, it's very good. I'll try the, uh, the mango one there. Mm. Yeah, the mango one's really good as well. It's supposed to be more of a savoury one, made from bananas. Mm. Miss what she said about the ingredients in it. Tastes more like tomato or peppery or something. Yeah, if it's more of a tomato or pe peppery flavour, but it has banana in it. So it's got some banana wine. Don't normally drink, but so I'll give this a test. Yeah, you can definitely taste the banana. You've got a better angle with the mango tree here. very big tree um, if I explained it properly but there was a, a banana tasting that we just did uh, it tasted different products made from bananas that they sell here um, obviously the bananas are the main product but they do make um, other things out of them um, including wines and sorts of preserves and things like that see this um, this area that we're in, that you're allowed to walk around, is it's quite a good size. Um, and then they've got more sections that you can't get into, where they have uh, hectares of um, banana plants. I won't go any further than this, it looks like you're not supposed to go any further. So here is an example of a, a water sucker. You can see the large leaves on it. I guess they remove them, so there's not that many of them around. But yeah, I found this one here. Um, and then compare that to the sword suckers on this one here. See the long sword-like leaves. And these are the ones that they leave to um, produce the next bunch of bananas, or they separate them and plant them separately. Yeah, they. I think they say they grow two main varieties here. One's just a standard dwarf Cavendish, and then there's another one which I think is a, it's a bit of taller type of Cavendish. Um, this one's certainly a taller uh, plant than some of the dwarf Cavendish that they have at the hotel that I've showed in a separate video. Um, this one's at least, I'd say, eight, nine feet 
maybe 10 feet before it flowers. Same with this one here, much, much taller plant. These are not, I don't think these are dwarf Cavendish. Might be a, possibly a Williams banana or something like that. Although they don't mention that name on the, on any of the labels. So maybe it has a different name here. And this one here, they've had to prop it up. I guess it's because of the weight of the bananas, it's starting to lean over. Um, they do naturally do that anyway. Um, but yeah, they've propped it up these poles as you can see here very tranquil in here most people have gone now actually just my dad in the distance it's like going through the jungle here Watch out for the spiders, there's lots of spiders on on these uh, plants here. Quite easily get lost in here. See the irrigation lines they've got going here. Obviously, use a lot of water. I think it's something like 20 to 25 litres a day it said they need for each plant in summer. They've definitely got some weight on these inflorescences. You can see this one's starting to lean actually. I guess they'll prop that one up soon. So this one is sort of using a steel um, stake here and staking the, the bottom of the flower. Um, it's quite interesting, I've not seen this style of staking before. Yeah, so they've just shoved it into the plant by lots of it. And then it holds the, the banana flower up there. And you can see the size of these, some of these sword suckers. That this one, I guess, is going to be the next uh, replacement for this one once that one's finished fruiting. Just warts into a cobweb. Then, hopefully, I'm not going here. Uh, Nasty spiders on me. <laughs> Hopefully there's no poisonous ones here. You can see there's plenty of fruit on this row here. Pretty much every cluster has a uh, racine, as they call them, of uh, bananas forming. I wonder if they do something to Got these ropes tied around them here to hold them up. But I wonder if they do something to try and force them to fruit into the middle of the row. As they all seem to be fruiting into the middle here. I guess it makes it easier to harvest, but I'm not sure how they do that. Maybe they use the rope to guide it somehow. You can see that must be uh, what they use to support them rather than staking them all. Not to see, but yeah, you can see some kind of rope up there so yeah i hope you enjoyed this little tour around the banana plantation um the farm is actually called um las fincas margaritas um i will leave a link in the description if anyone wants to visit this place if they're in tenerife um definitely recommend it it's very interesting if you're into your bananas um we did the self-guided tour there are guided tours as well available. Um, but I decided to do the self-guided tour so I could walk around at my leisure and record videos, um, of course. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to 
like and subscribe and hit the notification bell and I'll um, keep you updated with how my bananas are doing back at home uh, which by the time this video has been released I'll be back in the UK uh, but yeah thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time